Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so yes, now as we all know, Tech LR Gogeta is finally 100% confirmed to be coming next by the game. Uh, we had the leak from I Seriously recently, which pretty much confirmed it. But you know, it's always the case, no matter how reliable these sources are, until we see it confirmed by the company, either on Twitter or in the game or whatever, you know, anything could happen. But it was finally announced uh, late last night, or at least for me. They posted a teaser with the retweet campaign. Um, like, like I think it's like 10k retweets or something, and we get a bunch of rewards. Um, I made a joke about the fact that people, Dokkan haters will always be joking that the game is dying. And I think that tweet got the 10k retweets in like four hours or something. So anyway, so 100% confirmed that this is coming next. Um, and yeah, going to be very exciting. But... The question on everybody's minds, I've been seeing it coming up in comment sections on all my other videos on, on Twitter, is uh, there's a lot going on this month. Uh, we've got this banner coming out. It comes out Wednesday evening if you're in the US, Thursday morning if you're in the UK like me. Um, and then Heroes is going to be coming out at some point. Last year, uh, the, Dokkan the dual Dokkan Fest for um, Go. Gotenks and Boo dropped about the same time as this banner and then Heroes came out on the 19th so that is potentially the working date for Heroes sometime around the 19th and then of course you have to remember that the Gogeta celebration on JP also had a part 2 LR so depending on how much they want to space that out that could also be coming in November as well so it's going to be quite a busy month and like I say the number one question that is on everybody's mind is what banner should you summon on? Should you summon on this Gogeta banner? Should you skip for heroes? Uh, should you skip both of them for LR Janemba? I don't know if anyone's doing that but now obviously everybody's going to have their own opinion on this. You may have come to this video already convinced of what you're going to do. Uh, maybe you're already typing out your comment that says what you're going to do, but at least hear me out and we'll talk about some of the various prospects because there's a couple of things that you're going to have to bear in mind. So we'll start off with the Gogeta banner. Now, Gogeta's banner is very, very good. I've talked about this in a previous video already, so we won't go into huge amounts of detail here. But if this banner remains unchanged, this banner is actually really, really good for global. Um, obviously, we've got the two new units that we'll talk about a little bit. Then we've got the returning uh, L Dokkan Fest LR that came out the same time last year, which is the Blue Boys. Still a very, very good unit. I feel like people underrate them, but if you've used them in the right setup, like, you know, good links activated, orb changer, like, they're really, really good. Um, in Super Battle Road, post super attack, their defense is, you know, more than good enough to tank without items active. So they're really, really good. Go Bros! They're obviously an older unit now, like a lot of people think they've dropped off. They're still okay. Uh, their defense is definitely not the best for some of the hardest content in the game, but they still put out some pretty decent numbers. And then, of course, we have the return of the physical Goten and Trunks. They have not yet returned on Global. So straight away, they're a big ticket unit on this banner for people who either didn't summon or only threw a couple of multis at their previous banner and didn't get them. This obviously, you know, gives you the option to buy them with red coins as well, but that's a whole separate subject. But this is their first return on Global if the banner is unchanged. Then we have the Int Gotenks. I feel like people don't really talk about him anymore because, you know, Golden Week units in the past, we had to wait so long to get them that the hype kind of died down. Um, and then he released alongside the Tech Exchange Boo, which most people consider to be one of the worst Ocon Fests from that meta that he came out. But this Gotenks, I feel like he is super underrated. Like, I have him Rainbow Full Level 10 Link, and I think he's really really good like post super attack his defense is really good the Super Saiyan 3 form you won't see in shorter events but once you do decide to transform he puts out some pretty insane numbers while still having good defense so I think he is very very good and then we have uh, PyCon and Janemba who are also making their first return to global so if this banner doesn't change we have three Dokkan Fest exclusives on this banner that it's the first time they've returned since their debut so that already is a huge amount of value. And then we have the AGL Gogeta and the Int Gogeta. Int Gogeta obviously has his Easy A. He's still pretty good. Um, he's not like a top tier Easy A unit or anything. And then AGL Gogeta, he will get an Easy A sometime in the next year or so. So he's probably at the moment, I would say, technically the worst unit in terms of like how he's aged. But he obviously still has that potential because he's going to get an Easy A. So none of the units on this banner are like super bad. 
which is good, right? So definitely a lot of value here in this banner. Now, we're also getting free tickets. So this banner could have, not only could it have three plus one multis, it could also have the uh, thing where you get tickets for each multi that you do. And then you can build up free tickets to do, I say free, you have to summon to get them, of course, but build up more tickets to get more multis. So of course that adds a whole nother layer of value to this banner as well. Because obviously if you decide to skip this banner completely, you won't get any extra tickets um, so, you know, even if it is like, if it is three plus one, maybe like one rotation is going to be good, even if you do want to save for something else. But yeah, this banner is very, very good. And obviously the two new units, Gogeta is incredibly good. I, mean, I always will refer to them as Gogeta, but yeah, Goku and Vegeta who will fuse into Gogeta. They are good. A lot of people kind of meme about them now because compared to the STR Vegito, who they're supposed to be the counterpart of, a lot of people think that the STR Vegito is way better than them, which is obviously a little bit disappointing considering this unit is much newer. But this unit is still really good. They're really fun. That 40 second teaser trailer that the Global Dokkan page tweeted out last night with that retweet campaign actually did get me really hyped to pull this unit because like their animations are fantastic. The voice in the active skill sounds really good. I did a video about how the time limit team is going to be really fun because it's basically like the fusion category but with a bunch of Patara units and some other stuff thrown in there and they have connected hopes as a sub lead as well so if you're somebody who doesn't have PyCon and you don't pull him from this banner like they're going to be a good leader if you still need to do the GT Goku event mission so this unit is very very good um, and then of course we have the AGL Gotenks is the new side banner unit he will go into the general pool after this so you don't really need to summon on the banner specifically because you want to get him Although it is definitely uh, worth getting him early if you can. Because this guy is a super battle road god. He raises defense on super attack. He has an AoE super that can stun all enemies. He has a built-in chance to additional in his passive. And he's an AGL unit. So even with no dupes, he has level 5 additional in the hidden potential system. So even at 55%, he can super attack 3 times in 1 turn. And each of those super attacks raises his defense and hits all enemies with a chance to stun. So in Super Battle Road, he's going to be absolutely insane. Like, it still remains to be seen whether we are getting new stages with this celebration. The fact that they put something in the news saying that the new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history is coming, but they didn't put anything about Super Battle Road definitely uh, is worrying because we're two sets of stages behind when this banner comes out because JP got new stages with the Kid Gohan celebration and then they got new stages with this celebration. So for whatever reason, we are severely lacking when it comes to Super Battle Road stages. So overall, this banner is really, really good. I, I think it's really hard to even consider skipping this because of how good it is. Um, now, obviously, if you're a massive whale and you summon on every banner, you don't really need to worry about that anyway. But the main thrust of this discussion is for people who really are torn between how to summon. Because as good as this banner is, the one thing you have to remember that a lot of people are bringing up as a very solid point in the heroes column is nothing is guaranteed. Those of you who followed my uh, despair arc during the anniversary, I went over 4,000 stones on Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta's banner without pulling a single copy of him. Whereas when we come to the heroes banner, now this is last year's heroes banner, uh, every single multi on this banner is a guaranteed featured SSR multi summon. So I think in comparison, comparing it directly to my experience with the anniversary banner, I think last year I did a thousand stones on the heroes banner and I rainbowed all of the Super Saiyan 4s except for Bardock, he's only missing one copy. And then Dabura and um, Toa I think both have two dupes and then these guys are all rainbow. So... That is the one thing that the Heroes banner definitely has over any other banner is these new units that are coming out. You are guaranteed to pull at least some of them depending on how many multis you do. And then obviously the only cards in the banner are the Heroes cards. So if you get a single multi summon that has an extra SSR or two, like the God animation is actually amazing to get on the Heroes banner because uh, then you're getting three Heroes units. So this banner has a lot of guaranteed value built into it. Now, when it comes to the actual banner itself, uh, all we know so far, because not everything has been fully revealed, is we know that we're getting a Xeno Pan, which I'm sure not many people are that excited about, but I feel like she's going to be a really good support unit, just like Supreme Kai of Time or Toa, because she's Xeno Trunks' sidekick in Heroes, so I imagine she's probably going to be something like a Time Traveler's support unit. But we do know about the Awakenings, 
Uh, we're getting the Awakening for the Xeno Goku and Xeno Vegeta and the Vegex. They all awaken from base form into Super Saiyan. And then the Gotenks and the Gohanks, they awaken into Super Saiyan 3. So these guys, I'm really excited to actually see their kit. I think they're going to be really good. And when we look at the previous banner, these were the four units that got Awakenings. And the units that get Awakenings are always featured on the banner. So those five units and Xenopan are going to be featured. Uh, there were 10 featured units last year. I assume it's going to be the same. So that means there are six units revealed so far. There are still four more that we don't know what they're going to be. So obviously, you know, even though we're discussing this now in this video, it's still very hard to 100% make a decision because we don't know exactly what the Heroes banner is going to look like. Now, the one thing that you can do if you want to be patient, and I know... A lot of people don't like that, right? Because over the next couple of days, you're going to be seeing people tweeting out their summons, that they're pulling Gogeta. People are going to be posting screenshots of him on his best rotation, getting insane attack stats and all this kind of stuff. And it's going to make you really itchy to summon. But one thing you need to bear in mind is that when the Heroes banner comes out, the Gogeta banner will still be up. Now, the only thing that will change is if the Gogeta banner does have the 3 plus 1 uh, free multi-summon thing. That might run out by the time the Heroes banner comes out. And obviously that does give you quite a lot of additional value. But if you're someone who's fairly low on stones and you really are torn, you can wait until all the hero stuff is fully revealed. I mean, technically you don't even have to wait till the banner comes out. Once the other units are revealed and they give us an idea of what they do and how powerful they're going to be, then you could decide that actually you don't really care that much and you're going to go ahead and summon on Gogeta's banner. Or that might solidify the hype for you for the Heroes banner. Because we're already seeing speculation about units like Super Saiyan 4 Kaioken Gogeta, Super Saiyan God Trunks. Because those were two big cards that released in the same set that Xenopan first came out. And we know that she's going to be one of the characters. So this banner does have guaranteed value. Now people do say the Heroes units don't age very well. I did a video yesterday using the crossover team. And uh, they did pretty well. It was only in an infinite Dragon Ball history stage, but the team still did very, very well. A couple of you guys did say in the comments you want to see me try that team on the Legendary Goku event, the GT one. So I'm going to have to try that when I've got a little bit more time because I feel like that run is going to be very long. But the units do age fairly well. And obviously with the power creep that we've seen in the game over the last year, hopefully they're going to apply that level of power creep to heroes and the new heroes cards are going to be brokenly good because what they really want to do if they uh, really want people to summon is if they make the heroes units busted and they're releasing them at the same time that they've released this super hype tech Gogeta that's going to encourage more people to like buy stones who maybe wouldn't have if all the heroes units were just kind of mid so if, if they're really good like that will encourage more people to summon and then obviously that's beneficial for everybody if the units are actually really good because I'm someone that always gets excited for the Heroes units. I love, like, what-if units and seeing, you know, characters get forms that they didn't get in the main series. So I'm hoping for something like Super Saiyan 4 Kaioken Gogeta would be sick. Obviously, you guys know I want to see, like, Time Breaker Super 17 or the Masked Rosé, but we'll have to wait and see exactly what we're going to get. So Heroes Banner does have guaranteed value. The only downside as well, of course, is the fact that the Heroes Banner is a blue coin banner. And unless they update it this year, you weren't able last year to... To buy uh, any of the heroes like unfeatured units like these super old ones with the blue coins so if there's any that you're missing you weren't able to get them and blue coins have become kind of useless nowadays because you can only buy kai's with them and then the one time over the last couple of years where those 50 percent support banners have returned you were able to buy those units with the blue coins but those banners haven't returned in like over a year at this point so blue coins almost have no use outside of buying elder kai's so unless they, I'm really hoping that they update this this year so you can buy some of the older units and then it gives you a use for these blue coins. It gives you more reason to summon because, you know, you're summoning, you're getting blue coins that you're not going to use. Whereas if you summon on Gogeta's banner, you're getting red coins that you could use to buy copies of like, you know, LR Frieza or Namek Goku when they finally come back. So that is definitely one downside to the Heroes banner. Now, obviously, as with any of these Should You Summon videos, it's down to you at the end of the day. If you love Gogeta, if he's your favorite character, even if it turns out the Heroes units are all super busted and crazy good, you should still just summon for Gogeta. And then the opposite is true if you're a huge fan of Heroes. Because remember, the Heroes units only come around once a year. Gogeta will be back and available to buy with red coins sometime within like three to six months. 
Um, so there's definitely not as much of a weight, and then you can just get a guaranteed copy with coins if you want to, whereas the Heroes units are obviously way more limited. So, And then one final wrench to throw into the works is obviously here's the Gogeta celebration. We're getting this free-to-play freezer. We're getting a bunch of easy A's. None of them are really summon-related. But as we scroll down, the Part 2 LR for the celebration is going to be this LR Janemba. He's really, really good. Um, I've seen some people kind of underrating him on the timeline recently, but he is a very strong LR. For me personally, he's the upcoming legendary summon unit that I've been the most hyped for. It's why I didn't go crazy deep for like Goku and Piccolo, because obviously saving up for all of this stuff in November anyway. But this is the next summonable LR that I am particularly hyped to pull. We'll do a separate video about him closer to the time, because obviously if he does drop in November, it's going to be right near the end. But his banner coming up is another thing that you have to consider when you're thinking about where to summon. Now, the obvious downside, again, we'll do a video more in detail to this closer when the banner's going to come out. But this is a typical legendary summon banner where the featured units are not the best. Now... This one, I think, is a little bit better than some of the recent ones we've had. Like, Tech Pycon is featured. He gets an easy A during this celebration. Uh, the Physical Trunks and AGL Goten are featured. They have easy A's, and they're actually really good as well. This Goten is a pretty decent side unit, even though he's not as good as some of the other 40% support units that have come out recently. And then, like, this Videl, for example, we know gets an easy A when the Super Vegeta celebration comes out with that big Peppy Gals mass easy A, and she becomes pretty good as well. So in terms of how decent the featured units are, Janemba's banner is definitely better than Goku and Piccolo. But that is another thing that you're going to have to bear in mind. So let me know what you guys think down below. Is your mind still made up? Are you summoning for Gogeta? This banner, like I said, is crazy good. Are you guaranteed summoning for heroes? Or are you someone still kind of in the middle waiting to see what the heroes units are going to be before you make your decision? Let me know down below in the comments section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.